So there's so much stuff going on in town that the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority is absolutely confident that they should be spending $3.5 million to fund major events going on in the next 16 months. It's kind of nuts. So in this video, we're going to talk about how the downtown concerts on Fremont Street are coming back. We're going to be talking about Life is Beautiful, which is just over the top massive. Uh, the PBA, we got a lot of things. Let's talk about how much money they're spending. And one of them is a sport that you wouldn't think draws a lot of people to Vegas, but some of you know this. How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven, and I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe, smash that bell for future notifications, and leave us a comment below. What do you think about those concerts on Fremont Street? We're going to talk about that. And what was the best concert you ever saw in Las Vegas for that matter? The Fremont ones are free, but maybe you spent a lot of money like Paul McCartney tickets over at the Hard Rock. When that, or, uh, it was like $700 for a basic seat. Maybe you paid those kinds of tickets. You tell us in the comments below. If you guys want to support the channel, we have YouTube channel memberships and Patreon. You guys can see those in the comment below. We'll be doing our first ever Patreon and YouTube channel members live stream, only live stream tonight. It'll be 7 p.m. Las Vegas time. You're going to look for a link later on this afternoon on those two different things. And everybody's invited. We'll be in the same chat with the other people. And it'll be fun. And that's members only. But we got to do that twice a month. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. The only two masks that you'll ever need. This is Tiger King. It matches this Raiders thing that I'm wearing right now. And my wife makes these by hand. We ship them all around the United States for free, don't you know? We also ship them overseas internationally. But I love these masks. Uh, I don't, you know, nobody likes wearing a mask, okay? But if you got to wear one you wear the good one you wear the one that can go to your fashion and you wear the one that is comfortable and it's you know handmade and it supports uh small uh creators like ourselves here in las vegas but anyways let's move on it's a big deal today yeah so $275,000, that's the first little bit of money that's going to be spent. And that's going towards what's called the Downtown Rocks Concert Series. So that would be your Fremont Street concerts. And those are uh, pegged to go May through October. Now, I don't know, man, it's already almost April. Like, they better announce some stuff real soon. And if you're like, well, who are those people? Like, what kind of concerts are we going to be looking at? Well, the Downtown Concert Series last year, 2019, when it was able to go on, this is who they had. They had Good Charlotte, okay? They had Nelly, Sugar Ray, Eli Young Band. If you've heard of Eli Young Band, tell me in the comments. Fuels, Toadies, and Sponge. The Pop 2000 Tour hosted with Lance Bass, O-Town, Aaron Carter, Ryan Cabrera, and Tyler Hilton. Collective Soul, Buck Cherry, Cheap Trick, Wallflowers. I Love the 90s featuring Vanilla Ice, Montel Jordan, All for One, Tone Loke, and Coolio. Kenny Wayne Shepherd Band, Smash Mouth, and something called Mud Fest to feature Puddle of Mud, sal Saliva, <laughs> Trapped, Saving Abel, and Tantric. Those were free concerts, and so they are pledging two hundred and what was it, uh, two two dollars and fifty cents, two hundred seventy five thousand dollars towards that. It looks like concerts are coming back to Fremont, unless things change. They're really confident that come May first, when we open things up. It's going to be opened up by the Southern Nevada Health District as opposed to the state on May 1st if, if the numbers keep trending downward and then we can call our own shots and we're back in business. So are you going to go see a concert on Fremont Street? That's the question. I mean, I have been on Fremont Street in big crowds. Some people might still be peckish about the idea. They don't want to do it. Leave us a comment below and let us know. Uh, the next up is $150,000 for the Life is Beautiful Festival. It's musical performances, art displays, downtown Las Vegas, September 17th to 19th. The fact that they're putting that money there helps them bring in live bands, big bands, big entertainment has been through Life is Beautiful in the past. Um, and it's, it's one of the best events in the entire city. So the fact that they're confident in September, wow. And we haven't even talked about the EDC show, but that apparently is still going forward. EDC is something that's not funded by these numbers, but that's half was something like half a million people in May. They're, they're thinking they can manage out here. Uh, then we have $2.125 million for Professional Bull Riders Association Premier Series and Championships for 2021. This is not the NFR, the National Finals Rodeo, but this is like a precursor to that kind of rodeo event. NFR is bigger than this, but we don't throw shade on the PBR because it's a big deal. So it goes through T-Mobile Arena from uh, scheduled right now 3rd to 7th of November. Of course, the PBR went to Texas last year. Lots of things going to Texas right now, and hopefully it'll be back this year. They do have a contract to come back to Las Vegas. They just can't run it without having the people in the stands. That's the way it is. And the last thing, 
you're going to be thinking is $1 million for the U.S. Bowling Congress Open Championship. It runs from March 7th, 2022 through July 17th, 2022. Now, I know this is not a 2021 thing. That's why I said at the beginning it's like 16 months out. It's at the South Point Bowling Plaza. Now, it's been in Vegas for a long time, this event, okay? Uh, brings hundreds of bowlers from all over the country, but it also brings their friends, their family, their spouses, all these other people to come in. South Point's premier event, really, if you look at it that way. And it's a big deal for them as well. So um, it's good to see that these things are coming back on board. They're being rebooted up and that the LVCVA, Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, is actually spending money on them. The votes to spend this money was made unanimously. So I was talking with a friend last night and this is what we were talking about because he's in the music industry and I was saying you know if you're in a music industry or if you're into promotions or if you're into doing business with music you got to consider some some stats here we have what okay so 65,000 people that can fit into Allegiant you have another 20,000 maybe for concerts. I'm just going to round up from 18 to 20,000 for concerts to T-Mobile. That's 85,000. You have another 20,000 or so that can fit into the MGM Grand Garden Arena. That's so we're at 85, 95, 105,000 uh, people is what we're up to now. And then we have another, uh, you know, countless amount of people that can fit into the Thomas and Mack Center, nearly another 20,000. So we're up to 105,000, 115, 125,000. Uh, my point of all this is that you have so many people that can come here and attend concerts on any given night. I think imagine if you look at all the entertainment venues in town, you could probably have close to a quarter of a million people here for events. And that's not even counting the big concert area that they had the iHeartRadio Festival years ago at across from uh, the Sahara by the Circus Circus and the Hilton on the north end, because that's another area where you could conceivably put 50,000 people. That doesn't count downtown where life is beautiful as hell. That doesn't even count if you go to the Motor Speedway and talk about the EDC. It's, it's, it could You could if you wanted to try, but I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know that we have the capacity, the amenities for it. It. But if you took the EDC down at the Motor Speedway, plus every other venue, and you conceivably had a full house at every single one of them, it may be close to a million people at any given moment that would actually be here for these kinds of events if you could pack them all to 100% capacity all the time. That's a testament to what Las Vegas is about, really. It's about resilience. It's about having the, the get up and go to go and do something. It's about spending three and a half million dollars before a pandemic's even ended to try to plan for the future because the future looks so bright right now. You got to wear shades. Now, I can't wear shades because I wear these glasses and I don't have any contacts on in the house right now. But uh, hopefully your future is bright, too, because all the people that said that Las Vegas was dead and uh, all the channels and I, I, I think I was at one point, all the people in the media, YouTubers, Twitter people, they said, that's it. We're done. Throw in the towel. Look at Vegas. It's going to suffer for years. Yeah, it's not going to be like it was in 2019 overnight. But if this is any indicator of what's up and coming in this town, this is the place to be. I, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you guys right now, this is it. We'll do more videos on this kind of stuff going forward. I want to focus on a lot of the positives out here. There's too much negative. If it bleeds, it leads. That's what they say. Um, and I, I, at this point now, I just need to issue a statement. Um, there's certain things I can't say on YouTube because YouTube will demonetize my videos. Uh, what, you probably don't know this, okay? But unless you have a YouTube channel and it's monetized, when you upload a video on YouTube, it walks you through a series of questions about the content in your video for self-reporting. If you're not factual, it knows that you're lying and then it'll hurt your channel. It asks if you're talking about sensitive topics. And so the next thing I have to talk about, I made an official statement on Twitter about it. Uh, there was a terrible incident at the wind last night. Just look up Win uh, Parking Garage, Employee Parking Garage on Google. Uh, so that way I don't have to address it directly and, and hurt my channel's um, standings in YouTube because... Yeah, it's uh, not advertiser friendly. So just look it up. Go outside to Google and look up, you know, Win Employee Parking Garage. It's, it's headline news here in Las Vegas. It's a tragic thing, and I just want to give love and prayers to the families of both people involved. Um, it's a shame, and it's also a shame that we can't really talk about it here because it will ask me if I'm talking about sensitive current events, and if I say yes to it, then it'll basically not really promote this video and it will not reach people as I talked about all that awesome stuff before. So yes, our hearts and uh, prayers go out to the families involved in that event. And uh, I hope everybody is going to be okay through that hard time that they're having. Um, 
It's hard. You go, just go look it up. You know what I'm talking about. All right, that's my video today, and I'm sticking to it, okay? My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe. Leave us a comment below. If you guys want to reach out and support the channel, if you're still wearing a face mask where you're from, go to VegasFaceMask.com. Most of the big box retailers are still requiring them, even if your state doesn't mandate them anyways. Uh, this is called the Tiger King. I'm called Steven. This is called not leaving Las Vegas. Now it's time the video where we say three, two, one, click. So y'all for ready for this? I said, are you, uh, did I just say, are you, are you all Freddy for this? Wow, look at that. 1990s Nightmare on Elm Street movie that never happened with the theme song. Y'all Freddy for this? Three, two, one, and click. All right, three, two, one, click.